Okay, so today is day one of my birthday weekend. I am going to be 33 on Monday. I This is the first day this week that I've woken up and I wasn't crying. <laughs> I've had probably one of the most difficult weeks I've had in a really long time going through something very, very difficult personally and going through a really big transition in my life. And um, But I'm super excited today because I'm going to go get my first tattoo. I've said I would never get a tattoo before unless it was something really special and um, of course now it's just going to make me cry talking about it but um, I'm getting something today to honor my mom and um, I'll share with you guys when I get it done what it is but it's just really something to remind myself every single day just how much I'm loved and she's watching over me and how worthy I am and I'm scared and I'm really excited to get this so I'm gonna take you guys along on my journey today. Alright, so I brought my friend Danielle with me and I'm a little scared because I don't think it's normal to get a tattoo in a house. It's an apartment. An apartment. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do. I think we just go for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go see what it looks like. It's not that big of a deal. Just permanent tat. Can't get rid of it. Not like you're feeling emotional or anything. No, today. no. <laughs> Probably the worst time to get a tattoo when your life is completely falling apart. I think most people probably this is when they get that. Yeah, I won't regret it. I wanted to get it before. That's all that matters. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's really gonna hurt. I don't know how people do this on like their entire body. Oh. I can't even get a bikini wrap. But I can do laser. It's always starting to sweat a little. <laughs> One word left. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's it? That's it. Two minutes exactly. What? That's insane. And that, that's it. That's it, folks. It's there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's there for good. It's not going away. Wow. It's actually so pretty. Oh, my God. If you like it tomorrow. <laughs> I, I better like it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. All right, so it wasn't as bad as we thought. It wasn't as sketchy. It wasn't sketchy at all. It wasn't sketchy, and I survived. And I have a freaking tattoo! This is so weird. We're gonna get you one next. I'm gonna convince you. Never. 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 <laughs> It's been a couple days and I still can't believe that I have this beautiful tattoo. I literally, I love it so much. It's just so beautiful and classy. And every single day I wake up now, it's the first thing I see in the mirror. And it just reminds me so much to be so grateful and to remember how much I was loved by my mom and how much I'm loved in general. My tattoo says, love you forever. Um, in her handwriting, she used to write it on every card at the end of every text. Um, if you guys have a tattoo, let me know in the comments what you have and the meaning behind it. You know, I, I said I would never get a tattoo unless it was something really special to me and uh, this couldn't be more special. And for those of you that don't really know my story or haven't been following along or know my mom, um, I lost my mom to cancer three years ago. She had stage four lymphoma. Um, oh. Well, um, my mom was truly my best friend. I mean, she had the most 
beautiful heart. She was so giving. She is the true definition of resilience, of a fighter. You know, she she was an altruistic mother. She was a real freaking everyday hero, you guys. My mom was a single mom of four um, who, after she divorced my dad, moved us all to the city so she could put herself through college to get a better job, to have a better future for us. I mean, we were living on welfare. Meanwhile, my mom was going to college. She had two different jobs and she was helping run uh, nonprofits to help other low-income single mothers go to school. And, you know, we were running food drives. I mean, it's just, I genuinely have no idea how my mother did what she did um but i just you know every single time i see this i think of what she always taught us and that was that everything that happens in your life whether good or bad is an opportunity to learn and grow from and that's truly how we approach our circumstances that matter and that couldn't be more important to me right now because i am going through a lot of difficult personal stuff and you know, it's really hard when you're in the midst of pain and heartbreak to realize that you're gonna make it out of this and you're gonna be okay. And to be grateful, I have to say, through even through all my other hardships, that's the one thing that's really gotten me through. And I want you guys to remember that, that no matter what you're facing, there's always something to be grateful for and that you always have the power to change the story. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to change my story. I'm trying to choose a more positive path. And I'm trying to take care of myself because damn it, I deserve it. And this is a reminder that every day I am so loved and I am so worthy. And so are you guys. And I couldn't thank you guys enough for all of your support the past couple weeks. You did truly like I couldn't do this without you guys. And um, I just, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next time.